Tension rises in the Straits of Hormuz after British Heritage, a UK oil tanker, was ordered to stop by three Iranian boats under IRGC command. HMS Montrose, a British naval frigate, challenged the Iranian vessels and they withdrew. In a statement yesterday, the British government said HMS Montrose was forced to position herself between the Iranian vessels and British heritage and issue verbal warnings to the Iranian vessels, which then turned away. The statement continued, We are concerned by this action and continue to urge the Iranian authorities to de-escalate the situation in the region. The action comes as US sanctions bite deeper into Iran's finances and following the seizure off Gibraltar last week of an Iranian tanker for alleged breach of the sanctions by attempting to deliver oil to Syria. Only a few days ago, Major General Mohammad Baghiri, Chief of Staff of Iran's armed forces, warned of reprisals, saying, Capture of the Iranian oil tanker based on fabricated excuses will not be unanswered and when necessary, Tehran will give appropriate answer. Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said yesterday, Apparently the British tanker has passed. What they have said themselves and the claims that have been made are for creating tension, and these claims have no value. In a statement, the IRGC denied the event even took place, saying, there has been no confrontation in the last 24 hours with any foreign vessels, including British ones. UK officials have increased the threat assessment to level 3 in the Straits of Hormuz, which means serious security incidents are imminent, and advised all shipping to avoid Iranian territorial waters. The Straits of Hormuz are arguably the world's most important seaway. In the first six months of this year, 90 tankers have passed through, and last year an average of 21 million barrels of crude per day passed through, equal to 21% of global oil supplies, along with 25% of liquefied natural gas trade. Disruption in the Straits of Hormuz would mean disruption for the whole world.